universes and infinite parallel universes constantly being created is literally flow of reality and time as we know it. A portal to another dimension has allegedly been opened, and the culprit is a quantum AI at CERN. This isn't a movie plot, it's the viral claim made by teenage genius Max Lowen that has everyone from Joe Rogan to your neighbor talking. Look at what it says there. He claims that CERN destroyed the universe during recent experiments, which has resulted in us living in a nearby parallel universe instead. The story combines the world's biggest science experiment with futuristic artificial intelligence, creating a perfect storm of mystery and fear. But not all things are what they seem, and the reality behind the Large Hadron Collider is stranger and perhaps more fascinating than any fiction you can imagine. What did Max say about CERN? The idea that the world's most advanced scientific machine, paired with cutting-edge artificial intelligence, could literally punch a hole in reality is the kind of thing that keeps both conspiracy forums and late-night podcasts buzzing for months. But what would a quantum AI even mean at CERN? The thing nobody tells you is that it's a concept on the verge of reality. Imagine combining the mind-bending processing power of a quantum computer, which doesn't just crunch numbers but explores countless possibilities at once, with the pattern-finding instincts of modern artificial intelligence. Together, they'd form a system capable of modeling physics experiments at scales and speeds beyond human comprehension. To Max, that marriage of brute force quantum calculation and AI-driven intuition wasn't just a tool for studying particles, it was a cosmic key. And according to his claim, CERN turned that key. Of course, this is where the lines blur between scientific fact and speculative fiction. CERN really does use its 17-mile-long underground tunnel to hurl protons at 99.9999991% the speed of light. They circle this massive ring over 11,000 times per second before colliding with energies measured in the trillions of electron volts, generating conditions that mimic the early universe. That much is true. Physicists at CERN also use advanced AI to sift through mountains of collision data. We're talking petabytes of information enough to fill hundreds of thousands of DVDs every single year, spotting patterns that would take humans decades to decode. That's true too. But has any of this opened a literal gateway to a parallel reality? There's zero scientific evidence. Yet the lack of evidence has never stopped wild ideas from thriving, especially when the words CERN and portal are involved. Many people are crazy about this stuff. Max's claim worked like a spark in a room full of kindling. The public's love for mysterious science, quantum weirdness, and wild theories ignited instantly. It tapped into something deeper than physics. It tapped into our hunger for wonder, for stories that make us question what's really happening behind the curtain of reality. The claim was so perfectly tailored for the modern media landscape that it practically begged for a reaction from the king of speculative podcasts, Joe Rogan. True to form, Rogan didn't dismiss it outright. Instead, he leaned into curiosity, exploring the what ifs with his guests. Could CERN's experiments really bend the fabric of reality? Could a kid genius actually be onto something? For Rogan and his millions of listeners, it was less about debunking and more about playing with the idea, rolling it around like a mental puzzle toy. And just when people started asking who would even say such a thing, the internet reminded everyone, oh right, it's that kid. But what many overlooked is just who this kid genius really is. The Boy Who Promised Free Energy By now you're probably wondering, hold on, who exactly is this Max Lugan kid and why are people taking his words seriously? It's a fair question. Max Lugan first burst into public view back in 2016 when he was just 13 years old, sporting a mop of hair, oversized glasses, and the kind of confidence only a true dreamer can pull off. He stood in front of cameras and unveiled what he claimed was a revolutionary invention, a device that could harvest free energy from the atmosphere. The machine was cobbled together from household items, coffee cans, wires, a spoon, and a few electronic parts that cost less than $15. To anyone else, it looked like a science fair project gone rogue. But to Max, it was proof that limitless clean energy was within reach. The media went absolutely wild. Articles hailed him as the world's smartest kid. YouTube interviews racked up millions of views. 
Overnight, Max became a wonderkind folk hero, a kind of modern-day Nikola Tesla trapped in the body of a middle schooler. He spoke about saving the world with boundless enthusiasm, his voice cracking slightly with youth even as his words carried the weight of a visionary. What made Max stand out wasn't just the device, it was the way he carried himself. He spoke with a clarity and passion that felt far older than his years, tossing around terms like electromagnetic fields and resonance, as if he were giving a TED talk instead of doing homework. He wasn't shy about declaring that he wanted to change the future of energy, technology, and humanity itself. Of course, the scientific community had its doubts. Many experts pointed out that his invention wasn't quite the free energy breakthrough it was hyped to be. It was more like a basic radio wave energy harvester, the kind of crystal radio setup that engineers had tinkered with for decades. But here's the thing, nobody seemed to care. Because Max wasn't just about one device, he represented something bigger. He was the embodiment of that irresistible narrative, the young genius who might see something the rest of us missed. And so every time Max spoke, people leaned in. Was everything he said airtight science? Not always, but he delivered his ideas with enough confidence and charisma that audiences wanted to believe. He had the aura of someone who could, in some future chapter of his life, stumble across a discovery that rewrites the rules. That's why his later comments about CERN and a quantum AI opening a portal struck such a chord. It wasn't a random internet troll tossing conspiracy bait into the void. It was Max Lowen, the same kid who once promised free energy, the same kid media outlets had crowned a genius. His words carried the echo of potential, and that made them harder to dismiss outright. He represents the ultimate what if, the idea that a brilliant mind unburdened by conventional thinking could see a truth that established science is too rigid to accept. But to understand his claim, we have to look at what CERN is actually doing. Smashing particles, not realities. Okay, let's set the record straight. CERN isn't secretly summoning interdimensional beings, building stargates, or cracking open rips in space-time, at least not on purpose. What it is doing is plenty exciting all on its own, and ironically, sometimes so wild that it sounds like science fiction even when it's real. At the heart of CERN's mission lies the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest and most powerful particle accelerator. That 17-mile underground racetrack straddling the French-Swiss border is a modern marvel of engineering. Inside, beams of protons are accelerated to near the speed of light. When they collide, the energy released is enormous, and out of that violent smash-up, new particles emerge, some so rare or short-lived that they've never been seen before in our natural world. That's how, in 2012, physicists confirmed the existence of the Higgs boson, the so-called God particle. It was a discovery that won a Nobel Prize and finally explained the fundamental question of why particles have mass at all. For physicists, this was like finding the missing corner piece of a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. For the public, it was proof that CERN could actually discover things straight out of science headlines. Now here's where things get juicy. Smashing particles together at those energies doesn't just give us new building blocks of matter, it recreates on a tiny scale the conditions of the early universe. We're talking billionths of a second after the Big Bang. That's not just cool science, it's a form of time travel, allowing us to glimpse the birth of reality itself. Of course, with great power comes great conspiracy theories. Ever since the LHC was switched on in 2008, skeptics and sci-fi lovers alike have speculated, what if smashing particles creates a tiny black hole that swallows the Earth? What if they accidentally discover a hidden dimension? What if colliding protons doesn't just reveal physics, but opens a door to something else? Physicists have addressed these fears repeatedly. Many black holes, if created, would evaporate instantly due to something called Hawking radiation and pose zero threat. Hidden dimensions. The math of string theory is tantalizing, but no evidence is turned up yet. As for portals, well, unless you're willing to stretch definitions, there's nothing resembling a glowing wormhole swirling in the Geneva countryside. But here's the irony. The real science is arguably stranger than the myths. Quantum mechanics, antimatter, dark matter, and dark energy, these aren't Hollywood inventions. 
They're real mysteries that scientists wrestle with daily, and they're far weirder than a monster crawling out of a CERN vortex. For example, dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe, yet we have no idea what it is. And here's where Max's story sneaks back in. While there's no quantum AI portal opener, CERN really does use artificial intelligence. The data from over a billion particle collisions per second is mind-bogglingly vast. AI helps sift through it, flagging anomalies, spotting patterns, and even predicting where interesting physics might show up. It's a necessary tool to make sense of the beautiful chaos. This brings us to the most futuristic part of the whole story. A supercharged Sherlock Holmes. Max Logan's story spins around two magic words, quantum AI. It sounds futuristic, mysterious, and almost suspiciously like something a Hollywood writer would drop in a trailer. But unlike portals to another dimension, quantum AI is real, or at least it's becoming real. And if you want a recipe for both breakthroughs and wild speculation, this is it. Traditional computers like the phone or laptop you're using speak the language of bits. Every bit is either a zero or a one, and everything from cat videos to climate simulations is built on those binary bricks. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits. Thanks to the bizarre quantum principle of superposition, a qubit can be a zero, a one, or a blend of both at the very same time. Multiply that across dozens or hundreds of qubits, and suddenly you're exploring a mind-bending number of possibilities in parallel. It's like the difference between flipping one coin at a time versus flipping every possible combination of a thousand coins simultaneously. That's why physicists and engineers get goosebumps. Quantum computing isn't just faster, it's a fundamentally different way of processing reality. Now add AI to the mix. Artificial intelligence thrives on data, spotting patterns, making predictions, and learning strategies. The more data and computational power it has, the smarter and more capable it becomes. But even today's most powerful supercomputers struggle with certain calculations that are just too complex. Put them together and you get a partnership where quantum computing provides the vast landscape of possibilities and AI acts as the intelligent guide deciding which paths matter. It's like giving Sherlock Holmes a supercharged magnifying glass that lets him scan every possible crime scene scenario at once, while a hyper-aware Watson takes notes and points out the most promising leads. This union, quantum AI, could transform entire industries. Researchers are already exploring how it might accelerate drug discovery by simulating molecules at scales impossible for normal computers or how it could revolutionize finance by modeling markets in ways that make today's algorithms look like child's play. In cryptography, it could both break and create codes that are uncrackable by current technology. And yes, physics research is high on that list. Imagine using quantum AI to model particle collisions, test theories about dark matter, or even explore the mathematical underpinnings of space-time itself. No, this doesn't mean CERN has secretly used a quantum AI to pop open a wormhole in Geneva. But when you're talking about machines that explore countless realities at once and programs that think in ways humans can't, the leap to portals and dimensions feels almost natural. Our imaginations can't resist it. For Max Logan, tossing quantum AI into his claim wasn't just flashy, it was savvy. He tapped into a buzzword that sits right on the border between cutting-edge science and science fiction. The truth is, the real applications of quantum AI are so revolutionary that they already feel like magic. And that brings us to the juiciest part of Max's claim, the stuff that sounds ripped straight out of sci-fi, portals, the multiverse, and physics that bends reality itself. The very word portal conjures up images of glowing circles in the air shimmering gateways to somewhere else, maybe another planet, maybe another timeline. When Max Lugan claimed that CERN had opened such a doorway, it tapped into some of the strangest and most tantalizing questions physics has ever raised. Take wormholes, for instance. These hypothetical tunnels through space-time, first proposed as Einstein-Rosen bridges, are legitimate solutions to Einstein's equations of general relativity. In theory, a wormhole could connect two distant points in space through a shortcut. 
In practice, we've never observed one. Then there's the multiverse concept. One version, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, suggests that every quantum decision splits reality into countless parallel universes. Another arises from cosmology. Perhaps our universe is just one bubble in a cosmic foam of other universes, each with its own physical laws. What many overlooked is that these aren't just fantasy, they are ideas born from complex mathematics. Suddenly, the idea that CERN's experiments might bump into another universe doesn't sound like pure fantasy, it's just something we've never seen evidence for. This is the fertile ground where speculation grows. The people watching this are looking for a mystery, and the possibilities here are endless. So, is CERN hiding cosmic secrets, or is our imagination just running wild? Let us know what you think below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.